Recently, a new title update 1.32 was added for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online on all platforms. There are some long-awaited fixes and also some interesting changes. And some improvements look like they were made simply because Rockstar are testing something for future projects. GTA 6 or who knows, maybe even next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyway, let's take a look at patch notes. First of all, we have Red Dead Online general fixes. By that, Rockstar could mean anything. So I I had to make some tests because a lot of viewers were asking if Etta Doyle was fixed or bridge glitch or Lake Isabella. And you know what, according to my test results and information that I received from other players, this time Rockstar fixed only bugs and issues that they mention in a patch notes. So you still will not lose any goods if you will simply switch lobby after your trader delivery wagon will be destroyed, or you still can create a solo lobby with different methods like MTU settings on PlayStation. But on the other hand, some extremely annoying bugs like God Mode glitch still exist as well. By the way, a lot of players were also asking about modders on PC and we're gonna talk about this later because one specific change in my opinion is related to this problem. So next change. Fixed an issue that resulted in a naturally samples not being counted toward daily challenges. This bug was in Red Dead Online for a long time and it was extremely annoying because you know leveling up naturally is not the easiest process and daily challenges are helping a lot and this one was just not working properly. Anyway, better late than never. I guess I will be repeating this phrase quite often in this video. The next change is extremely weird and I was not expecting to see it. Fixed an issue in Dead of Night that resulted in Night Stalkers being able to collect the Night Stalker mask. Think about it, Dead of Night is a PvP slash PvE event that is only available during Halloween event, which happens in October as you probably know, and they're fixing it now when there are a lot of other bugs and glitches that are much more annoying and they're not fixing them. But I have an interesting theory about why it happened. Dead of Night was broken not only in 2023, but back in 2022 as well. And it was released a month after the previous title update 1.31, which broke the game in many different ways. So it looks like Rockstar started to work on this fix long time ago in October of 2022 when Broken Dead of Night was a current problem. But then they stopped for some reason and only continued their work on this fix and title update 1.32 in January of 2024. Anyway, I personally never experienced next few issues, but I guess some players did. Fixed an issue that resulted in ambient vehicles not appearing in certain content and also fixed an issue that resulted in free roam missions not launching. I actually never even tried to launch free roam missions, also known as stranger missions, because they're pretty lame, but it's good that it's fixed now and also Rockstar should fix payouts in these stranger missions and increase them, because now they are pathetically low. Next fix is extremely important, but again it looks very weird in patch notes. Improved an issue that resulted in players becoming stuck when entering the stables. They obviously are talking about infamous stable glitch that luckily was fixed. I tested it a lot, different lobbies, different stables, even when there are a lot of players nearby, it works now. And again, better late than never, but improved an issue. I'm not a native speaker, but I found this choice of words very weird. So issue is now improved, it's better now. And anyway, why not use fixed an issue? You're not sure that that it will work. By the way, there is another issue that was improved. Improved an issue that resulted in players being unable to summon horses and wagons. It was also a really annoying bug, which I experienced a lot. Sometimes my horse was just not showing up after fast travel usually and I had to change lobby to fix this issue. Quite often hunting wagon was completely broken and now after the title update it seems like these issues are fixed. I tested hunting wagon, it works absolutely fine, I even tested bounty hunter's wagon 
despite I never actually had any issues with that vehicle, but some players apparently did, and anyway, Bounty Hunter's wagon works fine, so these issues were improved. Next, we have another important change. Voice chat now defaults to off, so if you want to use voice chat, and hear how other players are screaming at you, you need to go to settings, choose audio, and change it from off to on. In my opinion, it's a good change, I was tuning voice chat off anyways, because community is mostly friendly, but sometimes you will meet some weird individuals, and you don't want to be in a voice chat with them. So I like this change, but there is another point of view, that Rockstar changed this setting, because they want us, Red Dead Online players, to finally shut up. Then we have fixes to various issues that could result in a crash, and next we have some fixes for PC. Again, issues that would result in a game crashing or failing to launch, many people experienced that. Issue with Windows 11 updates, and next one is really interesting, fixed an issue that resulted in crashes after reporting other players. I was always suggesting to players who see a cheater on PC to not report them using built-in report system, because usually it would result in a crash. Apparently mod menu user was able to see your report and crash you. And now Rockstar finally changed something and this should not happen again. But what about mod menu users in general? Will Rockstar somehow fix this problem? I'm afraid that the answer is no. You see, usually after big patches, title updates, mod menus are not working for some time, but then mod menu developers are making some changes and mod menus are working again. And it always will be like that, because Rockstar are using cheap peer-to-peer -peer connection system, and to be honest, they don't really care about cheaters in both GTA Online and Red Dead Online on PC. Anyway, next change is about offline mode, but then we have few interesting improvements. First of all, they added support for HDR10 Plus gaming, and also updated AMD FSR to version 2.2. Both changes should improve graphic quality for some PC players, not for all, but I really think that the main reason why they they made these improvements is because they're testing something. And yes, sometimes it looks like Rockstar are only using Red Dead Online to test some weird ideas, like will players enjoy sedating animals, so how many times NPCs should say Capitale to make players hate it. But they're testing some technologies in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online as well, because they're planning to use these technologies in their future games. Obviously we can be talking about GTA 6 here, maybe they already already testing something for PC port of GTA 6, but maybe, just maybe, it's something that they need for next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2. I understand that it's a wishful thinking, but on the other hand, why after so much time Rockstar suddenly decided to release a big patch for Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2? Okay, the last change is this weird resolution being added to PC. I guess someone is using it. So conclusion, this title update is actually much better than I've expected. It really fixed some annoying issues, and I haven't found any new bugs. Maybe yet, but still it's really unusual. I just hope that Rockstar will continue working on quoting now improving issues, and it will not take another year and a half to fix the other bugs. By the way, it will take only 14 minutes of your time to find out about all 50 must-have purchases in Red Dead Online. You can see the link to the video on your screen now. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.